You know what they say, bro. Ass is ass. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today, and only today, is the last day of 2020, 2020, 2020, 2021. I don't know why I had a mental breakdown there. But yeah, last day of the year. Hey, guys, I hope you had an amazing year. I hope you're excited for next year because I, I hope, well, I mean, you know, listen, let, let, let's be honest. Um, it's not looking good in terms of the general world right now. The, the, the new variant is like spiraling out of control again and like the world is kind of fucked again in some ways so we're going we're going to year three we're going to year three of this bullshit everybody so bear with it just a little longer but we're gonna we're hopefully gonna prosper stay safe wear your mask do your thing you know what i mean but we'll, we'll get through but aside from that i want to talk about just this year i want to talk about a specific subject where i mentioned my five favorite gaming things about this year, you know whether it was like a gaming related thing or it's just something related to this year in terms of just hypest media stuff of the year that i figured i would go through and before that i just want to say thank you for all the love and support this year on you know on twitch on twitter on youtube and stuff now i have a big resolution which is next year i want to post more here if you guys notice the past two weeks I've been uploading a lot more, and it's because I've been dropping these more just, like, quick discussion videos. And I think um, that's sort of how I like it. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it helps me. You know, the fact that it's just, like, one take, and I just go through, and you guys can sort of enjoy it like that. If you guys want more hyper-edited uh, style, you let me know. Uh, but I, I've seen a lot of people in the comments and stuff tell me they like the sort of just me talking. Even if I do this. There's a charm to it, you know, it means I'm alive, you know, I'm a real person, I drink water, people drink water, did you know that, Sam? So let me know if you want more videos like this, if you want me to hyper end stuff, but yeah, I want to post more here because I feel like this year one of my biggest weaknesses was I was just uploading a lot of Twitch VODs here, not really uploading too many videos, aside from the two podcasts I had running, and a video every so often whenever there is, so I'm going to do my best to upload way more here of these discussion videos, just put them out there, have you guys, you know, that way you can talk to me, interact and all that stuff, even though you're interacting all over the place with me, but of course, thank you for all the love and support you gave me this year, next year is going to be crazier. Now, let's talk about this year, right, so in no order, I want to talk about my five Five favorite things about this year and number one and is the most obvious right was the return of the nintendo direct that's right we finally had directs come back because if you remember last year was a fucking nightmare not only for the world but for nintendo discussion Last year was all people being like, where the Nintendo Directs are, Nintendo Directs dead. Nintendo was doing those partner showcases. We had a Direct Mini. We had no big E3 presentation. I, I think I, I could be wrong on that, but it's like, we did not have a Direct. Actually, no, we didn't have an E3 this year, for, last year for Nintendo. It's like, there was a, I remember this year's February Direct had so much hype riding on it because of just how much people were starving for a Direct. It had been so long and that built up to finally getting one felt good but yeah uh, to me that was one of my most hyped things of the year then we returned the nintendo direct and sort of the regular scheduled broadcasting we have with it you know which is like the early year direct the summer slash e3 direct and then the fall direct these are the these are sort of the three constants in life and i'm so happy that it came back you know we were all worried again what's gonna happen does nintendo like doing the thing where they just drop news on twitter because they still drop some minor stuff on twitter but I think for the most part, um, the direct format is just more fun, man. It's more hype. It's more fun. It's more interesting. And all that stuff. And I can't wait for next year. Obviously, we're going to have way more. And obviously, that we had a bunch of the small ones. And in general, directs were really good this year. You know, from stuff like the Animal Crossing updates to Breath of the Wild trailer being in there. You know, to, to getting Kirby Forgotten Land and then getting all the, the Smash updates and all that stuff. We'll talk about Smash after, of course. But we've got the directs in general this year were super fun. Super, like, and, and this summer where we got, like, Wario announced. I got Metro. We got a bunch of shit. And it was just awesome all the way through so shout out to directs being back i'm happy about that second thing about uh, uh speaking of directs metroid bro this was the year of metroid's return i'm so happy about this because dude the like metroid obviously we had uh, samus returns on 3ds but it wasn't it didn't feel like the same it was a remake of two right but to get a brand new 2d metroid meant so much because first of all it was announced at e3 and just came out in october like it was what like a four month wait period and it was just to me that is the like best way to announce a game you know you do the four month and now a four to six month announcement you drop some hype videos and then you drop the trailer and it's out there bro because man first of all 
Metroid Dread, my game of the year. Fantastic game, incredible game. But I just loved the hype that this game was getting. I loved the energy coming from it. I loved the E3 reveal. I loved the uh, insane amount of fan art of Samus that just popped on the timeline. Everybody drop it, drop it, drawing the new outfit. And it just said like there was a revived hype for the Metroid series. You know, I don't know how much, we don't know how much uh, Metroid Dread has sold yet. Where I think it's around two to three million probably at this point but man like just the polish and care put into this game and what it meant for the franchise was so important because now people are more hyped for whatever metroid prime 4 is going to be or if they do a remastered trilogy i just felt like this game was so important and such a big part of this year in terms of like you know gaming conversation so really metroid jet was just one of my highlights this year it, it definitely easily was one of my highlights now the next thing i want to talk about and this is sort of cheating but bear with me uh it's spider-man right listen man this was this was a year for spider-man bro like uh first of all we got the game announced bro. we got spider-man 2 announced which is awesome which right after we had just gotten spider-man miles uh last fall we got the announcement of spider-man 2 officially happening the game uh not the movie and it's obviously gonna be you no know, team face of miles and uh regular peter um but man you couldn't go anywhere without talking about Spider-Man this year. I mean, all the lead, first of all, all the lead up and speculation this year. Are the other are the other Spider-Man gonna be in the movie? You could not escape that conversation. I'm not gonna spoil anything from the movie, but there was that whole debate this year, right? We had all of that stuff, and then we had Venom 2 in there, right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cycle through this because it's a short ass trailer. Um, but yeah, we had the Venom 2 movie, which was really fun. But obviously, I mean, Spider-Man No Way Home was not just it didn't feel like it was just a hype movie. It felt like it was a conversation of the year, whether it was the shitty posters they had, whether it was the crazy trailers they would drop, whether it was people speculating whether it was the new fan art, whether it was just all everything Spider-Man or the, the Spider-Verse trailer. It just felt like this year, you could not have gone anywhere on the internet without hearing about Spider-Man stuff. And I was all for it, man, because to me, Spider-Man is one of my favorite franchises ever. And just to see the amount of love it's gotten, how much bigger it's getting than already. It's already, Spider-Man's already massive, but it's just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, Spider-Man, no way no right now, sitting at like 1 billion plus at the box office when we're still in a pandemic and all that stuff and i can't wait for the future of of the live action movies of spider-verse and all this stuff bro we got venom up in this bitch bro it's gonna be crazy spider-man hype all the way and i was very happy to see all that stuff across the time i'm even re replaying the the spider-man ps4 5 game out of just pure excitement and joy so spider-man love you thank you for keeping this year hype now of course we could not go this year without hype without talking about the end of the smash ultimate hype chain bro the smash ultimate hype chain ending was it was it was bittersweet but it was magical right it was even bittersweet it was it was just beautiful um i really felt like there were so many things about this this is symbolic of sort of you know sakurai's almost 10 year long project being done between smash 4 and ultimate right you had a character like sora which was one of the like the most requested character the most divisive in terms of can the character get in the game or can they not and to have smash ultimate end on that character was i think the perfect no and the the speculate the amount of speculation that came towards the last character was incredible and even before that right I mean, we had Mithra Pirate this year. We had Kazuya this year. We got two dope characters in the game uh, before we got to the grand finale. But man, like just like I said, this trailer really is it in terms of the magic we got from it this year. I think incredible stuff from not, not just Sakurai and the team for making it happen, but just like I said, the amount of fan art that came on the timeline, the amount of just the cool. I feel like Sora brought people back into smash like i saw so many people just playing smash again and now we have tournaments are back which is really cool to see like we're seeing just smash tournaments pop off again again virus stuff coming back so we might have to like relegate back to not doing that but either way like just having sora and smash was just so symbolic for the end of the series it was so hype and of course that handshake with Mario and Sora at the end of the trailer, one of my favorite things, and I just, I like, listen, like, hi, Smash Hype is the one of the the best things to ever happen, and we are, uh, we've said this before, like, we're never getting a game like this again, and to me, that is that is awesome in a sense of like this was a time and place in our lives we'll remember forever, but it's sad in terms of like, fuck, 
how can you outdo this in any way, shape, or form? I, I don't think you can. It's just about creating new ways to consume Smash or make the gameplay better and stuff like that, which I think they still can do. So very happy about Sora in Smash. Thank you, Sakurai and the team. Now, the fifth and final thing, again, none of these were in order either, but I want to leave this best for us, was Sonic's 30th anniversary. Sonic's 30th anniversary, obviously, this is, I'm on the, uh, it's called, this is one of my favorite things to come out of this year was the Unstoppable video uh, they dropped where, you know, they were just reminiscing on the series, you know, and all that stuff. And man, to me, Sonic's 30th anniversary was just a super fun time, right? We got Sonic Colors Ultimate, which I know, again, dropped with some issues, but for the most part, I was just happy we could play Sonic Colors uh, in a modern way. But it wasn't just that, man. It was the Sonic Symphony. It was the amount of, like I said, like, beautiful like you know fan projects that came out of it little fan game projects that were on on the internet job the, the the amount of art obviously you know stuff like the comics you had a million video game collabs we had the sonic unleash 60 fps next gen port which was just amazing i'm oh, sorry why am i saying port uh, next gen upgrade i shouldn't say for it. on xbox it was just a next gen upgrade on xbox and that was beautiful man that was awesome and obviously like, just sonic is such a big part of my life and a big part of this channel and everything and i just feel like the anniversary was to me it was super fun and obviously we've started the build up for next year you know next year we have sonic prime frontier sonic movie 2 and sonic origins which is like you know the the collection of the games but it's supposed to be like you know regular it's supposed to be you know, what's called not emulated like native and to me like i said i think this year was a really good setup for next year but it also just was a really enjoyable year as a sonic fan you know i just felt like all the amount of projects we got and all that stuff was dope and the, the social media team popped off and all that stuff so i was just really happy I, th I think like they celebrated it better than most companies do i mean a lot of companies will either just put out a tweet you know they'll put out some merch they'll put like the thank you tweet but like i really do think they did a lot to make sure like a lot of different fans of sonic were happy during the anniversary this year so and i'm happy they didn't rush uh, sonic frontiers because there is a world where sonic frontiers could have just came out this year to tie into the 30th and that it would not have been great so can't wait to see the series prosper and everything next year but yeah man that is uh those are my top five highlights of the year in terms of gaming now obviously there's my own personal highlights you know it was being here with you, Twitch streaming, making people laugh and smile and all that stuff. But that's a conversation um, for another time. But thank you again so much for all the love and support you've given me. I really hope next year is crazier. I think no matter what it is, you know, like we're getting Pokemon Arceus. You know, we're getting hopefully Breath of the Wild 2. We're getting Splatoon. We're getting a 3D Kirby. We're getting uh, hopefully FF16. We're getting Elden Ring. We're getting so many things that I think is going to make next year insane. And I cannot wait to see what happens. Let me know what you are most excited for next year. And let me know right we're gonna do a 2022 discussion at some point um but let me know what were your highlights of this year if you have any specifics was it a certain stream of mine was it like a, a game announcement was it just a, a place in time for you let me know it doesn't even have to be gaming related. it can be whatever you want so thank you all for watching stay up subscribe for more like the video all that jazz and of course i love you see you next year whoa